Election officials in the state of Arizona are now making their way through more than 400,000 ballots today. Now, the AP Associated Press has called that state for Biden, but state Republicans say they are not willing to concede just yet. On top of that, other major news organizations also have not yet called Arizona, but the AP sticking by its decision. News Nation correspondent Nancy Liu begins our coverage tonight in Phoenix with that part of the story. Hopefully, clarity will come soon. Nancy. And Rob, we are expecting updated unofficial results here in Maricopa County in about an hour, which could further solidify Arizona as a win for Joe Biden or narrow his lead and fuel doubt. Those results won't be complete, though, since election workers are busy here handling up to 420,000 ballots that either arrived by mail before Election Day or dropped off yesterday in official collection boxes all over the county. Because these are ballots that need to be opened by hand, in addition to being signature checked before the ballot can be scanned and verified, it is a slower process than the tally of in-person votes. Like other states, Arizona is handling a record number of mail-in and drop-off ballots due to the pandemic. Also today, election officials Officials are discounting complaints about the use of Sharpie markers for voting in Maricopa County. Arizona's Attorney General says hundreds of voters reached out with concerns that their ballots were rejected. But election officials and the Secretary of State say votes with felt tip pens are counted and ballot columns were purposely offset to prevent any misreadings. Sharpie pens were provided because of fast drying ink. It's very important, especially on Election Day, because there are tabulators at Election Day at the vote centers, and those are the ones that the voters, after they fill in their ballot, they need to place that ballot directly into those tabulation machines that are on site at the vote centers. So we need the fastest drying ink, since it's so quickly from the time they fill out that ballot and then they put it in the tabulation machine. Now, to statewide, the total outstanding ballots may be as many as 600,000, which is far more than the difference between Biden and Trump in the presidential race. It may be around 100,000. As for a recount, it is automatic in Arizona only if the margin is less than 0.1 percent, and it cannot directly be requested by the candidates. That's the latest live from Phoenix. Nancy Liu, News Nation.